Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our first webcast on this Thursday. I'm Rachel Quester. And I'm Caroline Wyke, and I'm going to tell you exactly what stories we're doing to give you a little preview. Unfortunately, there was a tragic four-wheeling accident. That's what we're really trying to investigate on. Um, we have a pretty diverse newscast today, and we're going to go from that to some lighter news. Um, there's a giant elephant statue being built. We'll have more on that. There is um, going to be a package on alternate spring break plans um, for everyone trying to save money, stay home. There's still a lot to do right here in Athens, like different fun things to do. Um, we have just a lot of great news coming, so you should definitely watch tonight at 5. All right, thank you, Caroline. Well, now we're going to head and talk to some of the reporters to get a little bit more information on the stories that you can expect to see at 5 o'clock today. Felisa Pearson is another one of our broadcast reporters today. Felisa, what are you working on? So I'm actually working on a story. It's called Campus Kitchen, and UGA, we're trying to get, or some people at UGA are trying to start an organization um, where they bring where they're working with food services, I believe, to try to get um, free food for people who can't you know, afford it or don't have meals. I'm here with Bridget Anderson, one of our reporters for the day. Bridget, I heard you talking about elephants in the morning meeting. Can you tell me what that's about? Yes, well, there won't be actual elephants, but there will be a sculpture of an elephant. And I don't know if I want to tell y'all any more else because I really want you to stick around for my 5 o'clock report. Now I'm here with Caitlin Bible who's working on a story about smoking among teens here in the U.S. Caitlin, what's going on with that? That's right, Rachel. The Surgeon General just released a statement saying that schools and people are just not doing enough to educate uh, the teens of our generation about smoking. And so um, hopefully I'll be talking with some people out of Coney County High School and uh, smokers right now. So we'll okay. see what we can find out. All right, great. Thank you, Caitlin. Well, that's it for our morning webcast. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure to check back with more information on some unsolved crimes here in Athens. And make sure to tune into our show at 5 o'clock on Channel 15.